Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hey, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to uh, talk about uh, compression transducer testing waveform interpretation this is uh, going to be a little bit of a, of a tougher uh, video uh, and basically we're going to show you how to interpret the waveform uh, on screen now you can see we also offer a book uh, together with the uh, uh, with this uh, uh, transducer that we actually manufacture at autodiagnostics and publishing.com uh, as you can see on screen this is the, 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 on the video, you can actually see what the um, transducer looks like. Now, for your information, the transducer, could, it's uh, actually aluminum, but it's uh, shrouded or surrounded on the outside. And we started doing this a few years back with a um, uh, sort of like a, uh, it's, a it's an epoxy uh, carbon fiber cover uh, just for better protection and so on. Uh, so it could be either or, okay? Now. Uh, and this is the transducer as it comes, as you can see on screen. It comes with a, a little uh, package with the hoses, and uh, you're going to have probably going to be adapting other other hoses to it in the future uh, that you already have, you know. Uh, but this is uh, the transducer as you see it right now on screen. Um, again, it comes in a it's either a pouch or a plastic enclosure, like you see on screen. Either or. Uh, it depends on the availability at that point in time, but the transducer is the same. It's just the uh, the cover, um, you know, the container. Anyhow, so it comes with uh, all the adapters. It comes with the transducer. It comes with the hoses for the. Uh, it's like a compression hose, pretty much. Uh, there's two types of. Uh, comes with two different types of um, uh, spark plugs. You know, the the holes on the spark plugs. That, that that's what's available today. Uh, you may uh, be able to adapt, not may, may you, you will be adapting other adapters at the end, uh, like spark plug adapters uh, at the end. Uh, so it's up to you, uh, whatever you do, you know, it's, uh, you already have the, the, the components in there and whatever you, if you wanna, for the future, you never know what kind of uh, uh, adapters uh, or spark plugs, you know, could come out of uh, on the market. And so this is uh, pretty much what you get. Um, with the uh, uh, with the transducer, we also have a vacuum peak transducer. The vacuum peak is it looks exactly the same, but it doesn't have the same fittings in the front. Uh, these are metal fittings made for compression. Uh, and the vacuum peak it uh, has a vacuum hose output. Um, you know that's made for vacuum, <laughs> pretty much. Now uh, also you also see as you can see on screen, there is also a BNC connector. That's what goes to the scope, uh, to the oscilloscope. We also offer with this transducer a software that you, that it's an oscilloscope software that you connect uh, to the, uh, your laptop uh, um, microphone, uh, and that's how it captures the waveform. And it also comes with a little box for you to uh, modulate the gain of the transducer, meaning the, the, the output frequency, and not the frequency, the, the voltage. Anyhow, but it comes with uh, a, a, an included basic oscilloscope waveform, as you can see on screen right now. Now, this isn't a, you know, super duper, you know, uh, oscilloscope. Uh, you can get that from our website to autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. So this is a, a basic uh, oscilloscope. It actually connects to your um, uh, uh, microphone output, uh, actually input on, on, the, on your laptop. And this is what you would see, and we're going to explain what this means you know, in a little while, okay? Which is the hardest part of the video. Uh, so basically, this is a single cylinder saved waveform, and this is this is uh, uh, following. You would see uh, this is what a one cylinder waveform looks like. Of course, of course, this particular waveform has an issue, uh, but we're going to go through it, uh, you know, in a, in a couple of minutes and explain to you. There's many ways that you can use the transducer. And, and it, it's, it's important because it, it actually saves you lots of time and money. Now, in this particular waveform, you can actually see uh, the actual uh, 
rotation, a complete rotation of your piston, of your crankshaft. Uh, these are um, 180 degrees uh, spaced out, okay? Uh, and to analyze the compression waveform, divide by uh, divided into 180 degrees intervals or divisions. Uh, basically, uh, you you basically want to see what each um, event in this particular waveform it means. And as you can see on screen, uh, each of each of these events means something. Uh, what do they mean? Well, as you see on screen, power cycle, the exhaust cycle, the uh, intake cycle, and the compression cycle. And that's what you're, by studying uh, what happens, you can pretty much know what your issue is. If it's uh, uh, a compression issue, uh, you would know if it's the exhaust valve, if it's if it's not the exhaust valve or if it's not the valves at all, you know, oftentimes you have a misfire. What is it? It's an ignition, it's an injection, it's a compression. You don't know. The only way to know is by doing tests. By just on, on screwing a spark plug and plugging in this transducer, you would know exactly what's wrong. Following our, we actually show on, in the same waveform the specific events for top dead center and bottom dead center. And that'll tell you exactly uh, uh, what the issue is. Uh, in this particular waveform, the peak compression right before sp uh, spark and detonation, okay, of the spark, okay? This is important because this tells you if you have good compression. Uh, then you have that low, um, it's like a, like a bottoming um, a crest of the waveform. And this is the lower mo most point on your waveform, meaning proper exhaust. And this is another one. This is another helpful, helpful hint. Because if you don't have proper exhaust, then you have a clock catalytic converter or a clock muffler or wh what have you. So this particular, this test uh, with the uh, compression peak transducer uh, would help you uh, determine if you have an issue with your, uh, not only the valve train, but also the pistons and, uh, and the exhaust. Uh, following, we also see the exhaust section. Okay, and this is important. The exhaust se section tells you in this particular uh, uh, waveform we're missing something in there, you know. Uh, uh, and then later on, you, you see the intake section, okay, where they're both missing uh, in this particular case. Uh, then you have the, again, the compression uh, section um, on the waveform. <coughs> Finally, we see on an intake or exhaust event, we see that the, the um, uh, Valves not sealing properly, and this is the sort of thing that you see uh, when you actually when you use the compression the compact transducer. Uh, you don't have to do extensive testing or anything like that. It it saves you lots of time uh, and, and money, of course. Now uh, we also uh, this is the, the final shot that, and this is again there's. There's a lot more information that you could gain from, from, from the, from the compact transducer, but we're just touching the, the, the crest uh, of what you could do. Uh, so this is uh, what we saw before. This is point C through Fs, uh, okay? Uh, is the exhaust pressure uh, during the exhaust stroke, okay? Uh, this section should be one sixth or to one ninth of the peak compression value. It points to restrictions in the exhaust system. Uh, now it's uh, you know it's incredible how much you could do uh, with this piece of equipment, uh, pretty much. And uh, so anyhow, it's uh, it is what it is. So we just thought we would show you how to read. It comes with a manual. It comes with a book that you would you're going to need to study it uh, to be able to gain uh, some interpretation uh, knowledge of how to do this. But if you if you're good at this. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna be top notch, you know, when it comes to your uh, repair shop being uh, on top of uh, of diagnostics, and you're not gonna spend. You're gonna save money on the parts alone that you're gonna uh, that you're gonna save uh, now by not swapping parts or replacing, uh, uh, you know, uh, re replacing components that you don't need to replace. Anyhow, uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel ADP Training. Uh, uh, and also uh, subscribe to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, we all we're always offering free stuff on our website, so um, you know uh, just 
Give us a thumbs up if you like the video or post a comment or what have you. Anyhow, uh, thank you for uh, watching and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers. Yeah, and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about the um, our vacuum transducer and how to use it for testing. We're not going to go too deep into it. This is a very basic video. I'm just exposing you guys that to, to the tool that we have this tool. We actually make it, we manufacture this tool, uh, but there is a lot behind it, uh, and basically we're just going to show you what it's all about. Now the tool uh, comes uh, in its own pouch, uh, and basically it's uh, made out of uh, reinforced aluminum with um, uh, some carbon fiber uh, around it, uh, so it's a tough unit. Uh, so you can see on screen, this is a BNC, has a BNC connector that goes to your oscilloscope. Uh, so it's a rugged unit, uh, there's not that much to say, it's, it's a very simple unit, it has a, uh, a fitting to do, to take vacuum readings, vacuum and exhaust readings, okay, it's important that you understand that this also will do exhaust uh, readings. So it, it, we have another unit for compression, that do, that uh, compression transducer. Now. Uh, it also comes with a, uh, you can see on screen right now, with a, uh, uh, a software, an oscilloscope software. So you don't really need to buy an oscilloscope. It's a basic uh, scope software, but you don't really, you, you don't need to buy any oscilloscope. Now the scope software that you, uh, that you get is slightly different than the free version that we offer, that we've offered, uh, you know, on our website. Uh, but it's a it's also f included with the with a unit and it basically uses your uh, sound card uh, as a um, as an input okay and that's uh, but we we actually we give you uh, when you buy the scope we give you um, like a circuit it's like a little box in there that you plug in there and it actually s conditions the signal for you so that you don't blow your sound card uh, or your laptop or, or probably a laptop that, that you're going to be using now uh, having said that, it's a nice uh, unit. Uh, uh, it, it's, it, it depends on the sound card that you have on your, but it's, I mean, anything made after the last 15 years is fine. Uh, so you'll be okay. Now, uh, on screen, as you can see on screen, this is a typical, um, and we're not going to go too deep into this, but it's, this is a typical signal that you would see with this particular uh, uh, if you look carefully on the uh, on the screen, you're going to see a yellow, the little yellow spikes. That's just your your ignition for uh, this, the whatever cylinder you're trying to look at. Okay, uh, so these yellow spikes are the ignition signal, which would be channel channel number two um, connected to the uh, to the ignition primary, and then the actual green uh, waveform is the actual the the you know the vacuum. Uh, signal that you're getting from the transducer itself. Uh, if you look at the unit, if you look at the signal, uh, and again, we're just briefly covering, you know, uh, you know how to read the, 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 this stuff. You would see that after each spike, in other words, after, after each ignition event, you're going to see a, a waveform. You're going to see a, a crest, okay? But there's one which is in this particular case will be 1342, that's the firing order, this is a four cylinder. So 1342, the fourth, the, the third uh, arrow that you see there has no uh, crest whatsoever, okay? And that tells you that you have an issue with 134, cylinder number four has an issue um, with the, uh, in this particular case, this is a, the uh, vacuum uh, signal, there's gotta be a, a, an issue with other, either valves, piston rings, uh, things of you know, uh, uh, a cam, uh, the cam lobe maybe it's worn out, something like that, because you're getting an issue. Oftentimes it's, it's not this bad, but you would see it's a crest uh, that that doesn't go as high as the other ones. Okay, and in that case, it's a it's a dead giveaway that you don't have. If, say you're having, for example, a misfire misfire condition you know for a fact that this is related uh, to a mechanical problem. This is the fastest way, by the way, to ascertain, okay, that you're having a mechanical issue without going deeper, deeper, deeper uh, in, into your, uh, uh, do, doing tests, bunch of different tests that you would have to do 
Uh, this is this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, so you know, again, uh, you know, we're showing again the uh, what the, the unit looks like. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to our videos on our channel ADP Training, uh, and also the uh, uh, go to our website and subscribe to our website because we all, we're always giving free stuff on our website. Uh, on our website, you can also donate a little bit to my channel, to my YouTube channel, this channel here. Uh, we depend on on, on your likes and your donations to continue with it because this is it's a lot of work and you know basically it's there's nothing to it uh for you guys to donate a little bit of money it, we would really appreciate it you know we're not asking for a whole lot of money whatever you can you can spare you know anyhow so we'd like to thank uh, thank you for tuning into our video uh, our videos uh, our channel adp training our website auto diagnostics on publishing.com and thank you so much for watching our videos this channel is for do-it-yourselfers, this channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.